Introducing the Open Palm Podcast, hosted by Jerome Shaw. Available today on your favorite podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor.fm, and many more. The Open Palm Podcast, where the host engages his listeners with inspirational messages, motivating themes, and thought-provoking ideas. Topics include make more mistakes, how much is your value, don't get right, get going, learning to let go, excellence is a habit, and more. Binge listen today. Subscribe today. It's getting excellent ratings. That's the Open Palm Podcast, hosted by Jerome Shaw. You can also find it on YouTube. Make sure you share it with your social networks and connect on Twitter and Instagram at Shaw. That's the Open Palm Podcast with Jerome Shaw. Available today on your favorite podcasting platforms. Go listen, download, and subscribe now. My friend, I want to talk to you about something that just happened to me. Now, this thing that has happened to me tonight and earlier in the week is so powerful that even as it is past midnight, (laughs) which I'm sure for some of you may be nothing (laughs) I cannot go back to sleep until I tell you about this thing I have to talk about it because I don't want this feeling to go away in the morning and leave me uninspired without giving this message to you In the course of a week, this event has happened to me twice already. Once earlier and another time just now. The first time this happened, I was in bed, just nodding off, trying to go to sleep. When it was as if a voice appeared in my mind, Whether it was my voice or another voice outside, I don't know. But it was a strong voice telling me to get out of bed, go to the next bedroom, take a look at my laptop that had been charging, and take it off the charger so that it wouldn't waste the juice. Now, in this picture in my mind, I had a picture of my laptop plugged into the charger and just plugged in all night, wasting the battery, wasting the charge. And so my mind was telling me, go into the next room now and take it off the charger so that it doesn't waste the juice. And so I wanted to just roll over and go to sleep. And I said, no, I know I took it off the charger. I'm sure. I, I'm sure. I even tried to battle the picture in my mind by putting another picture of it off the charger saying, no, I know I took it off. There's no reason to go in there because I already know I took it off. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. But once again, this, this image, this voice kept nagging at me until finally... I resigned. Finally, I surrendered. I said, okay, geez. I threw off the covers. I walked into the next room, and sure enough, there it was. The green light on my laptop confirming the voice inside me. It was just wasting power. I took it off the charger. I said, huh. I turned around and walked back into the room, went to sleep. That was just a few nights ago. Tonight, it happened again. I was taking out the recycle, putting it out to the curb. And as I walked inside, I came into the house. I went upstairs and I was just about to go to sleep. 
because I had just woken up to go take out the recycle and I was eager to get back to my slumber, right? <laughs> when a voice appeared again, telling me to go downstairs and lock the door. Now this voice was accompanied by one of the dogs downstairs, Sydney, who was barking incessantly. And this voice said, go downstairs, you forgot to lock the door. And in my mind, as I rolled and tried to go back to sleep, so close, so close to going to sleep, I told myself, I tried to bargain with myself, I tried to deny this image saying, no, I know that I locked the door, I know I locked it. There's no way, there's no way I did not lock it, I know I locked it, there's nothing to worry about, I'm going to sleep now. But once again, this voice inside said, no, Jerome, you didn't lock the door, it's still open. Go downstairs. And so finally, once again, I surrendered. I said, oh, jeez. Ah, okay. I threw off the cover. I walked downstairs. My friend, do you know that the door was open? It was open. I hadn't locked it. Do you believe in intuition? Do you believe? Do you believe that something can speak to you from either an outside force or an inside force? What is that? Is it your heart? Does the heart know what the mind doesn't? Or is the heart and mind intertwined? Are they working in unison? I would love to know your thoughts. Share, comment in, send a voice message. Your voice has value. I would love to know what you think about intuition. Because as sure as the voice came to me, as sure as I had the thought, and I tried to reject it, I went down to see it confirmed, to see it right there before my very eyes, the thing that I was almost convinced was not true. Well, it turns out it was true. Intuition. Has this ever happened to you? Has it saved your life has it reminded you of something has it brought something to your attention to the forefront of your awareness has it called to you has it beckoned you intuition my friend intuition can be a strange thing I do believe that that voice inside, it has gotten stronger for me. Strong to the level that it gets me up and gets me moving in a direction. I do not believe it was so strong back then. I believe this voice gets stronger when we actually listen to it, when we pay attention, when we allow ourselves to surrender, to be swayed, to go in the direction of our intuition, when we allow that voice inside to be confirmed, to be correct, when we ignore our own inhibitions on this voice, it gets stronger. It starts to help us out more. But if we ignore this voice, if we shut it down and say, no, it's just, it's just the wind, it's nothing, it gets quiet. So quiet. It 
it gets quiet to the point that is only a whisper. And eventually, we can barely hear it at all. At this point in my life, the voice is like almost a yell. It's someone telling me, go down, go now. But years ago, I could barely hear it. And it was as if it never really existed. Where is your voice, my friend? Have you heard it? Calling, whispering, yelling, groaning, moaning? Have you heard it? Reaching out to you. And if you did, did you answer the call? Thank you for listening, my friend. This has been Jerome Shaw on T-O-P. That is the Open Palm Podcast here in San Antonio, Texas. The Open Palm means harmony with the world, understanding our place in the world, using our skills accordingly, greeting the world with an open palm instead of a closed fist. I pray that you received an encouraging message today that would enlighten you and encourage you and empower you to listen to your intuition. May it get stronger and continue to assist you. May the affirmation in your mind be confirmation in your reality. Share this episode with a like-minded individual like you who is learning and growing, becoming their greatest version. Folks have asked, how can they support the podcast? Well, my friend, if you resonated with this, if you gained value at all, I invite you to become a supporter by going and opening your browser to anchor.fm slash jshaw. Clicking that little support button there is much appreciated, where even a dollar goes a long way to making a difference. Be well, my friend. Be blessed. Be intuitive. Be intelligent. Get involved. And have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Take care. Hey there, my friend. So you've heard about Anchor, but do you know why it's the easiest way to make a podcast? Well, first off, it's free. It allows you to use creation tools that let you record your podcast right from your phone or computer. It also distributes your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more platforms. You can even make money from your podcast with minimum listenership. It's everything you need in one place. Download the free Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Can't wait to hear yours. Let's see what you have to offer the world.